Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my London walking videos. This is part three and the final part of my walk around the Marylebone area of London. If you haven't seen parts one and two of the video, I hope you can go and see that as well because that will give you a complete picture of this very nice area of London. I'm doing this walk with my usual walking group and I'm really glad I came on this walk because it almost didn't happen. Uh, I've never been around this area before. I was told that it's a really nice area of London, so I actually been looking forward to the walk. However, on the day of the walk in the morning, it was pouring down with rain. It was chucking it down and I thought, oh no, I'll have to give it a miss because I didn't want to go on the walk. If it was just pouring down with rain, it would just be a damp squid. And luckily, the rain stopped and the sun came out. So um, I made myself go and really I was afraid throughout the walk that the rain will come back and going to pull down on us but luckily it stayed away for the rest of the day and we uh, managed to have a really enjoyable walk. One of the things about these walks is that whenever we come across anything interesting or anything of um, historical significance, then we'll have a quick stop over so that the team leader could explain to us what's going on, what is so interesting about so and so. And we are coming up to one such point here. Uh, we are going to be told what's the meaning of a mule house. Uh, we actually done this in a couple of uh, other walks previously. I think it was in the Bloomsbury walk, but we're coming across it again here. So see this little lane here is known as Mansfield Mews. What happened is that on the uh, left, on the right hand side, sorry, on the right hand side, you can see the houses are short and a bit shabby. That's because once upon a time, the ground floor would have been a horse stable and the upper floor where the windows are, that would be where the servant or the groom would be living uh, to look after the horses. And on the uh, left hand side, you can see the houses are bigger, taller, much more grand. That would be where the master would be living. The master and his family and his household servants would be living in the bigger, grander house. The horses and the groom would be in the living just across the road on the shabbier horse stable place. And see, this place is called Mansfield Mews. I won't be surprised that the owner, the master, the person who owned this estate is uh, called Mansfield. That will probably be his surname. And see, straight ahead of us on the opposite side of the road, uh, that is another example of another Mews house. Obviously, nowadays, there's no more horses. So all these stables has been converted into Mews houses. And this is what a lot of these uh, older grand looking streets in London are like. Uh, the front facade would be where the men's houses are looking very beautiful, very grand, tall and proud. And then go around the back and everything will be a little bit shabbier, shorter and smaller. That's because that's where the horses and the servant and the groom would be living. You see, in the old days, uh, most of these people would have a, would be very rich and they have a grand estate somewhere in the countryside where they have a big mansion and then uh, lots of grounds with big garden and they'll uh, put their horses and horse stable far out somewhere in the back. 
But in London, there's no room to have such expansion. So they just have a big, tall house. You know, there's not much space. So they built their mansions tall. And then they have the horse stable and the um, groom and the more dirtier work done around the back. In case you haven't noticed, we are walking through Harley Street. We only walked through a small section of it. I wish we walked the whole of the street, but no, we only did a small section to give you an idea. Uh, but Harley Street is famous for its uh, private medical health care. So if you got enough money and you can afford it, this is a place to come to seek specialist medical help. It is where a lot of uh, private specialists in medicine and surgery are based, especially cosmetic and probably plastic surgery. So this is a place to come if you have got any special medical need.
that's everyone we are coming to the end of this video and also the end of this walk we are now back at Baker Street where I started my walk at the beginning hope you've enjoyed watching it don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you for watching see you next time bye